Hey there guys, how is it going? So today's video is gonna be entering a YouTube video and then scrolling down, seeing how many comments we have. And once we scroll down the amount of seconds we want it to scroll down, we are gonna scrape the usernames and their profile links, all right? So let's go ahead and start capturing these steps. Let's wait for the countdown. And I am going to be entering google.com just because that is how I enter my YouTube account. So give me one second. Okay, now that I am here in the account I want to go ahead and sign into, <laughs> I am going to click on something just as a placeholder because right now I'm going to enter a link, but that doesn't get registered. So I am going to just click on something random. I am going to paste the URL of the video I want. And now here is where we want to scrape the usernames and their links. So I'm going to scrape list and I am going to select the usernames. I'm going to scrape text for now because I want the actual username and I want their link. So I'm going to scrape list again and select the URL. That will be all that we need for this to work. I am going to go ahead and clean up this one sec. Okay, so sorry for that. I had to encrypt my password. So if you guys don't know how to do that, it's just encrypt text over here. It automatically does it, but sometimes you just have to go ahead and encrypt text here, just in case. And now that we have scraped all of the elements we want, I am going to go ahead and enter the URL that we desire. So remember this placeholder I have over here? This is a video that I just clicked because I wanna know where to put the URL. I am going to paste the URL I actually want. I can erase this one because it's not needed. And because we want to scroll down in the URL afterwards, we are going to put a custom step. We are going to put a scroll down and how many seconds we want to scroll down. In this case, I just want 10. And because this immediately affects right away, I am going to put a delay after the scrolling down. Why? Because we want to wait for the 10 seconds for it to scroll down and I'm going to put 0.3 minutes. Uh, here you have some instructions of 0.5 would be 30 seconds. I want 0.3 minutes just because that might match the 10 seconds. And let's go ahead and double check if everything is fine. Uh, none, none of these interrupt, you know, you could allow errors in case if it asks you to log in once again. Uh, but if it does not, I mean, I, I always allow errors. Sometimes I go ahead and erase these steps just because I know sometimes they're not going to ask it again. But, you know, it's all up to you depending on your workflow on how it actually works for you. And let's go ahead and send this. <laughs> it's very important that we send this to a Google Sheet if you want to go ahead and export the data. I always tend to forget that. And luckily I did not this case. I got it before I, we started <laughs> running the automation. So yeah, and that would be all. Let's go ahead and run this automation and see it do its magic. So right now it's trying to log in to Google. Uh, that's why I sometimes erase these steps. But as you can see, there's no errors because I allowed all of these errors to occur. Uh, because if I wouldn't have done that, it would have failed automatically. Or So you could do one of two things, uh, press allow error or erase the steps. I actually tend to erase the steps when I log into Google just because I know it's not going to ask me again. But it's all up to you, all up to your workflow and how it actually works better for you. So right now it entered the YouTube video, it is scrolling down. And sometimes the delay, it doesn't stay on the step of delay, but it, trust me, it does work. <laughs> so it, it delay was step 10, I think. And right now it is on step 11, but don't worry, it, it does work, even though it's, it goes to the next step, that it tends to do that just to prepare for the next step. And this should be done shortly. I am going to give it a couple of more seconds for it to do its scrape mini. And there you go, complete. And as you can see here, we have the usernames and their links. So yeah, that is all for this video. You could go ahead and select how many seconds you want it to scroll down. You could select way more seconds. Uh, you would have to increase the delay, obviously, for that. And that will be all for this video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching it and have a great day.